This is the SAMR model in 120 seconds. The SAMR model is a framework that provides a lens for viewing technology integration in the classroom. The first level is substitution, or the idea that a block is a block no matter where it is or how you access it. This would be like using Google Docs as any other word processor. The new tech replaces the old tech, but it does not change the task. The next level is augmentation. At this level, the tech is still a substitute, but provides more functionality as students work to complete the same task. The ability to share your Google Doc in one click and the fact that it saves to the cloud automatically and provides you access from anywhere is an increase in functionality. The next level is modification. Here the ball really gets rolling because the technology is used to redesign parts of the task and transform student learning. Students collaborating on one Google Doc and using the comment feature to provide instant feedback is an example of modification. The final level of SAMR is redefinition. At this level, we're able to design and create new tasks that were once unimaginable. By shifting our perspective from technology just being another block or substitute, we're able to truly start imagining the possibilities. An example of redefinition would be connecting to a classroom across the world through students sharing Google Docs. They would each write their own narrative of the same historical event, using the chat and comment section to discuss the differences. Then students would use the Voice Comments app to discuss the differences they noticed and embed this in their class website as a culture walk. To recap, substitution is the same task, new tech replaces old tech. Augmentation is the same task, but the tech increases functionality. Modification, we're able to redesign parts of the task. Redefinition, we're able to create new tasks once unimaginable. As we move from substitution to redefinition, we're moving from enhancing to transforming student learning.